how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload guys if today's video won't inspire you then i don't know because today's video is going to be a story time of a south african lady by the name of kolwa 51 years old a single mother of two who found love on online dating apps this year 2022 with an american guy kolwa has been through a lot in her journey to search for the one but not only on online dating apps that she faced lots of challenges even in real life even in her past love relationship experience because she faced lots of challenges in her past love relationship experience that is why i'm going to be starting with her past love relationship experience so that we get to learn and understand this story very very well another exciting thing guys about today's story is that kolwa is my product because that dating app where she found the one heard it from my video i shared a success story here in my channel mentioned that name of the dating app then went and joined that dating app found the one so i am really really happy and excited without wasting much of your time let us jump into this video right now so dear friends color story starts way back then when she was still a teenager tells us her aunt used to work as a maid in one of a white south african family so kola sometimes could take a bus go with her aunt to help her with work in that family so as she was there helping the aunt had a crush in one of these white madame's boys because <laughs> the madame had kids and they were all boys and one of those boys too had a crush on Kolwa. But Kolwa tells us, unfortunately, at that time in South Africa, there was apartheid. If you have studied African history, you know what apartheid is. So these kids couldn't be together, couldn't do anything. Due to that, there was segregation, discrimination when it comes to the race two sad guys so they just left it like that and that is when kolwa started growing interest towards white men so she was like when i grow up if i reach the age of dating i'm gonna date a white guy i'm going to get married to a white guy so kolwa continued with her studies and kept on growing <laughs> so she went to college in johannesburg and on her last year met this cute angolan guy not at the college no guys <laughs> to make things clear but at that same same time kolwa was going through lots of challenges she had trauma she was very very vulnerable and when she met this angolan guy gave her a shoulder to cry on gave her a little bit of comfort and that's when everything started <laughs> so guys when kolwa received a bit of comfort from this Angolan guy they dated for a few days and tells us was writing her final exams at college and then decided to get married it was rush 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 that this Angolan guy never even paid for Lobola Kolwa told him about the Lobola he said yes he's gonna pay but because they were doing it as a rush 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 he promised to see Kolwa's father Kolwa's family later on something else you need to know about this Angolan guy he was in South Africa but he didn't have papers he didn't have the residence permit he didn't have a citizenship but Kolwa did not lose look at that decided to marry this cute angolan guy <laughs> so after getting married kolwa used to stay at college and this guy used to stay in another place so when they got married kolwa wanted to transfer 
from the college and go stay with the husband but this guy was like no you can still stay at college then you can be coming sometimes you know like during the weekend there is no need for you to transfer but guys that was a red flag red flag number one was being in a rush to get married red flag number two was for this guy not to pay the bride price because no matter you are in a hurry you should follow the culture and traditions okay so guys never ignore that so another red flag is this one that i'm telling you they got married but this guy didn't have even the excitement of start living with their wife <laughs> so kolwa kept on insisting that she wants to go and stay with the husband so in the end this guy accepted she transferred and they started living together so kola tells us their marriage life started also another thing is that wedding day wedding night she shared the goodies and got pregnant so took care of her pregnancy it came to an end she got a baby boy so after having her baby she got a very good job and that job was paying her very nicely the husband too was working but the amount of salary that kolwa was receiving the husband could get a half of that and because everything was going nice Kolwa had a daughter in her previous relationship so told the husband that because both of us right now we are working it's good I bring my daughter so that we can live together as a happy family but the husband was like no that will be adding another stomach to feed we have another red flag guys if a man truly loves you he's gonna love you with everything that comes with you he's gonna be responsible for you and for your kids too but a guy telling you that no you cannot live with your kid because that will be expensive that is another stomach to feed oh my god it feels very very bad especially if you are a mother hearing that so Kolo was like no i must bring my daughter so that she can stay with us eventually she had to bring the daughter to live with them by force so guys life kept on and because Kolo was earning more than the husband tells us she took the whole responsibility of the family she became a breadwinner this man his name is arthur could not contribute even the little money he could get left everything to kolwa and kolwa tells us you know us african women we are so obeying we have that nurturing heart we want our own money we want our children to be good so kolwa did all she could to keep the family going tells us it reached a time whereby in south africa they were not friendly to foreigners remember the husband is a foreigner from angola so she had to transfer to the suburbs but that doesn't mean that Kola's salary could afford all that started taking loans and fell into debt and guys it is very very understandable she also tells us that house in the suburbs it was on a mortgage whereby they could cut from her salary every month but the husband didn't see that started blaming her for falling into debt so apart from taking care of the family the mortgage the loans that she took <laughs> she could also pay for some tithes at the church offerings she believes when you give you receive she's such a religious lady because kolwa grew up in a very religious family so she is a religious lady who goes to church every sunday and believes in god she was very very involved when it comes to the church so friends due to financial problems Kolo's marriage started having problems too. They started fighting and what Arthur could do could go to the church to report Kolwa that she is a bad wife, very disobeying because all he wanted is that the salary, every money that Kolwa could get was supposed to give it to him so that he can be the one to manage it. So Kolwa refusing, that means she was disobeying him and they started fighting 
he could blame her for those debts and also told her you have a problem you have to go and look for financial advisors you have to go to a therapist i am not going to go with you because it's not me who has got a problem you see guys this is when a guy doesn't want to do anything with you he doesn't put enough efforts into the family because the right thing this guy was supposed to do is to look for a better job a job that was paying him more better and even the money that he was receiving was supposed also to invest it into the family help the wife but he couldn't do that because he never even wanted that family. Kolwa came to discover that very, very late. So Kolwa did all she could to save her marriage, went and saw the financial advisors, went to the therapists, also could go to the church and talk to the pastors so that they can advise her and save the marriage but when the guy could go to the pastors it was the same same thing blame kolwa even one time there is this pastor who understood kolwa and was on her side told this guy you have to go and look for a job that pays you more so that you can be responsible so that you can act as a man so guys kolwa kept on suffering in her marriage contributing 80 percent and the husband contributing only 20. it became too much she was very tired but at the same time was very scared getting a divorce thinking that it is against the will of god so went to the pastors talked to them told them that please advise me on the right thing to do so because the pastors knew her story from the start they took her file to the bishop and then kolwa was called they told her that you have done enough we know your story so what you really think you want to do it's the right thing god is not going to judge you so in the end kolwa was liberated and decided to file for a divorce so after filing for a divorce they started the divorce process and then arthur started saying that kolwa should sell her flat the flat that kolwa was paying the mortgage from her salary so he said we should sell it and take 50 50. can you imagine not only that guys he told kolwa that you are going to take the full custody of the kids it wasn't easy for kolwa tells us the divorce is never easy for anyone she cried so much because this guy had to move out of the house but tells us she fought for her marriage she fought to save that marriage but it did not work so their marriage ended like that they divorced so after the marriage ended you know you have to ask yourself where did i go wrong that is when she came to know that arthur was never interested in her arthur was never in love with her the only thing that he wanted was the permanent residence and the south african citizenship plus money because he went after her flirt tells us she misinterpreted the bit attention that arthur gave to her at the beginning of their relationship thought it was love but it wasn't love at all because everything they did it in a hurry rush 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 i told you the bride price he did not pay and he did not pay it for that period of 10 years that their marriage lasted even Kolwa's dad without seeing this man the mother could call all the time telling kolwa let this man come and ask for forgiveness let this man come and see your father before he passes away but he did not go because he was never interested guys so we should never misinterpret a bit attention that a man gives you and think it is love no guys i've seen lots of ladies making mistakes when it comes to this and i'm happy that kolwa shared her story so that we get an example so dear friends let us learn something here especially you ladies that are interested in interracial dating do not misinterpret 
a white guy coming to Africa maybe engages you, <laughs> gets married to you, brings you to Europe and think that it is love. That's it. The guy is so crazily in love with you and ignore the red flags. Or do not misinterpret a white guy sending you money and be like, oh my God, he loves me so much. And then you get blinded by that. You forget to ask the most important questions that will make your relationship last yes if you ignore that misinterpret him sending you money think it is love misinterpret this guy coming to africa take you to europe and be like i've been living a very difficult life at least he brought me to europe you don't ask questions you follow whatever he tells you then you arrive here a guy says you are not going to work you're going to stay here with me in the house and you wanted to work <laughs> you're going to be taking care of my mother just like he's made you're going to give me everything that i want you to give me your life will be ruined because this guy took you from africa brought you to europe or to america australia canada for his own selfish motives yes <laughs> and he is the one winning you're not winning your life is stagnant is that life my dear sisters it's not life that is why i've been telling you to shine your eyes don't ignore any red flag when you are in a relationship whether it is with a white man or any man of any color so let's continue with Kolwa's story so guys so after, after Kolwa's divorce she remained single for a very long period of time kept on going to the church and after some time started dating those as she started dating church brothers you know at the church you call each other brother and sister <laughs> yeah so she started dating those but also tells us it wasn't easy at all to find a guy that is very serious then started dating this particular guy a church brother too <laughs> he was a bit different from all because sometimes you could talk of marriage at that time, Kolwa too had a church sister <laughs> that she called a best friend. Could share everything with her, including the conversations that she could have with the boyfriend. That best friend was single. So sometimes Kolwa could be talking to a boyfriend and could tell the boyfriend that her best friend is single and searching. <laughs> So without Kolwa knowing, these people started seeing each other and eventually they got married. Kolwa was left like that, very, very disappointed, felt very betrayed and says that these people used her to get to know each other, but she couldn't do anything. So guys, we also need to learn from this. I told you, be very, very careful of who you share your relationship problems with. Yes. So guys, after that disappointment from a church brother that was her boyfriend, <laughs> Kolo was like, no, I'm not going to date anymore a guy from the church. So one day was on Facebook and then found this guy. He was a mixed race. Sent her a message. They started chatting. Eventually, they started dating. This guy was from South Africa too. But as the relationship kept on going, this guy started becoming very jealousy towards Kolwa. And another problem is that this guy depended on Kolwa financially. So Kolwa was like, no, I can't handle this. But the guy never wanted to leave Kolwa. He kept on being jealousy. If Kolwa could be invited, let's say it's a work dinner party, this guy could go crazy. Even one day went to the company's page, the company where Kolwa worked, the internet page, and wrote down that Kolwa is sleeping with her manager was like this company the managers are sleeping with the workers in the toilets it was very very embarrassing for Kolwa and that guy wanted to ruin Kolwa's job but he did not succeed the company protected Kolwa they even took Kolwa and the manager for cancelling due to all that rumors that the guy wrote on the company's internet page 
and that is why guys i've been telling you unless the guy shows that he is really serious he has got everything that you ever want in a man then you can tell him your personal details including where you work but just a guy that you are seeing he is not serious you know he's depending on you financially why go ahead and tell the guy where you are working give him personal information no guys because some guys are crazy they can reach an extent of ruining your life just like this guy you imagine if kolwa had lost her job just because of that stupid guy that she met on facebook so let's be very very careful don't just go out there and be like i work here i live here my full name is this no don't do that do it or say that to a guy that you see he is serious and you've been chatting with that guy for so long you have created enough trust so after the facebook guy Kolwa stayed single and then came to know about the dating apps. So when she found out about the dating apps, she was like, why not? Let me give it a try. So Kolwa came to know about dating apps in 2014. <laughs> so till now, it's eight years. <laughs> That's really a long period of time. And I know you guys always, when you hear this, you're like, oh, so I've been on the dating apps for five months. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> People have been to the dating apps for eight good years. <laughs> never give up guys so guys when Kolwa joined dating apps that 2014 found a guy from the UK they chatted for a while everything was going super super good but in the end came to know that the guy was so unfaithful had a wife so guys after Kolwa took a long break when that disappointment happened with a guy from the UK after a long break she returned so after returning to the dating apps started chatting with another guy tells us that guy was so so weird could send her photos on whatsapp of weird creatures very scary animals it's like this guy wanted kolwa to stay in fear like i told you kolwa is a woman of god very very religious so she says Fear is the opposite of faith. It's like that guy wanted to initiate her, but cause she had come across people like that who later on became Christians. So she decided to block that guy. And after that, started chatting with another one. He was from America, a very good guy. Everything was going well, their chats. <laughs> in the right direction then one time this guy was like you know what i want to introduce you to my pet i have a pet here on my lap <laughs> so cool was like let's see he was holding a snake a little snake Oh my god, Kolwa got so so scared and blocked that guy same same time. <laughs> so with all these weird people also met scammers but says she thanks God never got scammed on online dating apps. So after facing lots of challenges, she decided to take a break again, a very long break. <laughs> and after that long break, returned. This time was very, very lucky. Found an American guy. <laughs> so guys, please, if you hear some noise in the background, that is Sophie. She's at home till 9th January so please bear with me <laughs> yeah that's motherhood <laughs> so the dating app where Kolwa found that American guy it's called BBW I'm gonna be writing it down there so that you can see it and another thing Kolwa tells us she tried 20 dating apps <laughs> in the whole journey <laughs> of searching for the one yeah so you who have been like oh my god i've got lots of dating apps 10 <laughs> she tried 20 <laughs> and i'm going to be writing down all those dating apps that kolwa tried out <laughs> so that if you don't know some of them you give it a try try your luck <laughs> who knows guys so 
at the time Kolwa found that American guy, it was a period where there was COVID. So Kolwa was working at home. Tells us they could make video calls every single day, do everything together, even work together. Kolwa could put her computer and the guy could also put computer, work together, pray together, eat together. So friends, everything was going very well between Kolwa and this American guy. He also one time wanted to talk to Kolwa's mother to get to know Kolwa's family. Oh my God. Kolo was like, God, thank you for this man. Because Kolo was working at home, just like I told you, because it was the pandemic period, was getting half salary. The guy could send her money. So Kolo says that one deceived her because they started planning on how to meet, but this guy kept on giving excuses. Could say after six months, when six months ends, Kolo asked, the guy says again after six months wasn't giving specific date or month so it kept on like that but Kolwa knew the guy was the one because he was taking care of her they could talk every day he could show her his house Kolwa knew very very well that guy's house but the problem came on meeting and that's when Kolwa came across my videos on YouTube so after Kolwa watching one of my videos, she was like, no, I must contact this lady. So what she did, she first joined my channel membership because I've been telling you guys, if you want that personal advice, you have to support your sister too by joining the membership. So Kolwa paid for my channel membership and then contacted me on Instagram. Hi Bella, I am Kolwa from South Africa. I've been watching your videos and I've also joined your channel membership. That is why I came here on Instagram to talk to you about something. So Kolwa told me that she has been dating that American guy for two years the guy was taking care of her sending her money and also they could talk on a video call so she was like the problem is when I talk of meeting this guy brings excuses so I want your advice Bella so guys after listening two years a relationship of two years <laughs> and no meeting I was like girl this guy is only prolonging your relationship but is treating you like the online girlfriend but i don't want to rush into a conclusion please ask him these questions i also asked her have you ever talked to his parents she was like never the parents he always say that i should give him more time i was like more time how more time you have been dating for two good years he has talked to your mother so why is that on his side he doesn't want to open up why <laughs> ask him important questions i also talked about their friends if he really liked her if he really loves her then should introduce her to the friends i also talked about meeting i told her to ask him when are they going to meet if he is inviting her because if he cannot go to south africa then should invite her if he's not inviting her then he should go to south africa tell her the year the month and the date that he wants to go to south africa to meet her then from there she should start counting if that date arrives and the guy does not come it's an excuse she should end that relationship so was like okay bella i've heard everything thank you so much i'll talk to him and get back to you so Kolo went and talked to this american boyfriend asked him the exact questions that he told her to ask and guess what guys <laughs> she got a block the guy blocked her she came to me was like bella the guy has blocked me i cannot believe this this guy was sending me money i told her girl you are not looking for money you're looking for love so a guy sending you money doesn't mean he is serious he has blocked you is that love I can see the love he had for you if he can reach an extent of blocking you but she was so so happy was like god knows 
how long this guy was going to waste my time guys this will bring me to my recent conversation with my friend <laughs> actually this girl i met her here on youtube she's searching for love so i have been helping her out you know i don't like to call you guys clients because <laughs> the way i help you i help you from the heart even if you join my membership I will still call you my friend, my sister, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I've been helping her and she has been chatting with a very difficult guy. <laughs> So she comes like, Bella, advise me, Bella, advise me. So recently I advised her about this boyfriend that please talk to this guy, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and she was like, okay, I'm going to talk to him. So I went and asked the questions I told her to ask. <laughs> then everything went super good. Guys, we have a success story in January. <laughs> and I'm going to be reminding you this example that I'm giving you <laughs> yeah because the guy is the one guys he is the one because if he answered those questions <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he is the one and things started opening up because at first the guy was a bit closed not opening up a lot <laughs> she was like oh my god bella if a lady doesn't listen to you then i don't know but oh it is very very hard to follow what you say because <laughs> sometimes you get scared and be like if i ask this maybe the guy is gonna disappear but what i'm telling you dear beautiful ladies if a guy is serious if he really loves you when you ask him important questions he won't run away he won't tell you you are too much he won't tell you it's private no he's gonna answer because there is nothing to hide <laughs> yeah and also there is something that kolwa told me as she was telling me her story guys it really touched me let me let you listen to her yes so bella um that, that's the thing that you you don't rush get 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 advice like you you are giving advice i thank god so much for you there is many many bellas that needs to be still out there if we can, i could divide you just oh, to god. spread in the world thank in you the whole wide, thank wide you world, so much you know you to be in every country in every woman that's out there looking for a partner you know, I wish that they can get your advice. It's God, guys. It's God. <laughs> Thank you so much once again. <laughs> A message like this really, really uh, touches my heart. Yeah. And um, I promise to keep helping you guys, you know, because my intention is for you guys to find love, to be happy, find yourself in the hands of the right man. Yeah so the two years relationship ended like that but later on this guy unblocked her and wanted to return <laughs> my friend again asked same same questions that i told her to ask the guy didn't have clear answers and Kolo was like you know what it's over don't ever contact me again so guys at the time that relationship ended it was july this year i remember very very well so i kept on helping Kolwa, like she could come with questions i could answer her and again i remember <laughs> she told me one day bella the struggle is real <laughs> please bella can you make a group like where you help white guys and black women so that you do like a matchmaking <laughs> it will really really help i told her kolwa don't worry i'm thinking of doing that she was like oh thank you i am so so excited <laughs> so it kept on like that and then one day was like bella if you ever come across a guy who is interested please remember me <laughs> kolwa was really really tired concerning dating apps because she stayed there for so long so guys i know you can relate you wish i know a guy and connect you <laughs> i know guys i know that but what i'm telling you hang in there you're gonna find the one we can see kolwa found the one so let's continue with kolwa's story so guys kolwa kept on seeking advice from me but at the same time watching my videos watching the success stories that i always share so one day i shared a success story 
here on my channel and mentioned the name of the dating app where that lady from the one Kolwa was like why not let me give it a try so guys Kolwa joined that dating app and in less than a week received a message from an american guy i can say Kolwa is so so lucky <laughs> with american guys Kolwa received a message from this american guy his name is idris and he was like i would like to get to know you more went through your profile i like you so so much Kolwa was so happy to get his message, told us they clicked and immediately started chatting. But guys, I want to give you a bit of Idris's history on the dating apps. Idris too has been to the dating apps for eight years searching. He was on that dating app not for that long and also he was using a free version in that dating app. Actually, it's the girl that Idris was dating before Kolwa that recommended to him that dating app. They were talking and the girl was like, if it is like that, why can't you go and join, mentioned the name of that dating app, you will find the right woman for you. <laughs> so Idris joined but remained using the free version. So when Idris went through Kolwa's profile on that dating app, saw that Kolwa was new to that dating app and had all that he wanted in a woman, <laughs> Kolwa tells us her husband was looking for a lady with curves and Kolwa has got really, really, you know, <laughs> huge curves that she could attract young men because she doesn't look her age at all <laughs> i remember one time telling me bella i see young men writing to me and i'm not comfortable dating a guy who is younger than me so idris was looking for an african lady with curves <laughs> but plus other things like good character intelligent you know genuine yeah so when idris saw that Kolwa was new tried to send her a message it did not go through so what Idris decided to do he went and paid immediately because he was very very scared that someone else might take Kolwa so after paying that is when he was able to communicate to Kolwa I've been telling you guys men should pay a responsible man when he sees a very beautiful woman a woman that has got all the qualities that he has been looking for he's gonna pay <laughs> so ignore those guys especially on afro introductions that sends you messages that you can't open because they are not serious even the way they are sending those message shows and seriousness because you know on afro you can know if a person has paid or not yes you can see that so that guy knows that you are using a free version and still sends you a message that you won't be able to open or to read so what's the meaning so never be bothered by such kind of messages concentrate on the messages that you can open yes because a responsible guy is gonna pay again do not misinterpret me <laughs> not all guys that pay for dating apps are serious some are just looking for online girlfriends just like that guy that dated kolwa for two years without meeting so you should just watch the red flags but to start with chat with a guy that is paying on the dating app so guys they started talking in september this year kolwa tells us after a week of chatting idris was ready to talk to kolwa's parents he told kolwa i don't want to date you i want to marry you i am very very serious i know what i want and they clicked they were so much in love with each other within that short period of time she came to me and was like bella i found this guy one two three four told me everything and i was like mm, 
Hmm, I think he's going too fast. <laughs> Be careful, but I told her, ask one, two, three, four, so that we get to find out. <laughs> and to tell you guys, Idris is a good guy, because what he did, he gave her the report from his job, he gave her the medical record, you know, concerning his health, he gave her his financial score, his financial report. Who does that? <laughs> and also told her, please investigate about me, even my criminal record. And yes, guys, Kolwa went and investigated about this guy. He had no criminal record. Everything was good, good. Also, Kolwa talked to the relatives of Idris, you know, to make sure that they know about her and about their relationship so she confirmed guys and by the way guys before i forget i told you that you should always go with the flow if a guy is open with you you should also be open Kolwa too became open to idris and also did a medical report concerning her health and sent it to idris so she had to show her financial report to idris yes she had some small loan to finish Idris promised to finish that loan. So in October, Idris was ready to pay for Lobola. <laughs> From America was like, I'm going to send money for Lobola. And when I come there, we get married. It went like that. He sent money for Lobola. And November this year, Idris went to South Africa for marriage imagine guys someone that has been on online dating apps for eight years then finds love within a month she's married <laughs> this is so so good but i insist guys kolwa confirmed everything she didn't get married this time with her eyes closed <laughs> no no so guys in november idris went to south africa for marriage he went with lots of gifts for Kolwa, for the parents for the kids oh my god this guy is really good and few days of him staying in south africa they got married congratulations Kolwa and idris so after their wedding in south africa they went to the cape west for their honeymoon they enjoyed so so much their time together and i'm gonna be showing you a short clip of that place where they were it was close to the sea a very very beautiful place and after the two weeks honeymoon idris had to return to america and left kolwa in south africa but don't be like why leave her <laughs> no right now kolwa is doing her visa process to go join her husband in america but another good good thing that idris did to show that he is a responsible guy left his three cards with kolwa so that whenever she needs money she can use it because kolwa later on lost her job has been doing some businesses to keep life moving so with the help of idris her life became even more better <laughs> yeah and tells us it is the first time a man is taking care of her in her life so she's really really happy and thankful to god so guys to the big question which dating app did Kolwa meet Idris? They met on Muslima. If you remember, I shared a video here on my channel, a success story of a Tanzanian lady who found love with a Turkish guy. So Kolwa watched that video and then she was like, you know what? I have experienced it all with brothers in Christ from the church who later on betrayed me says it's not all that are bad but that is her situation so she was like why can't i give it a try you know never say never in life and then give it a try found idris so guys i know we have learned a lot from this story first of all we should always confirm before we get married you know before you get married make sure you are ready make sure that guy really loves you don't misinterpret him giving you a bit of attention <laughs> and be like he loves me another thing don't let these men on online dating apps waste your time always know what you want 
ask the right questions and never give up plus other more that we have learned from this story so dear friends thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video do not forget to subscribe please please what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah! from sophie too <laughs>